dashing through the snow in a browning mounted sleigh o'er the fields we go blasting all the way pow 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 bells on bobtail sing south pole elves take fly what fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight oh jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way oh what fun it is to fight for South Pole Cheer Today. Hello everyone, Mighty Benaya here, and I have one more song to start off this second episode of the Supremacy Christmas Special, A Minster Christmas. And this is in, um, in honor of the fight that Hastings TNT put up. He uh, posted Sweet Death, Thanks for a fun map. And this, this second song is for Hastings. Hastings got run over by a reindeer. He got conquered by Belgium and Chile. You may not think there's such thing as Santa, but Boot Brigade, they all believe. And that is all that I have for songs this time. But I will, I will come up with more because I'm really enjoying all of this Christmas cheer going with uh, this, this fun match. Um, several individuals have actually changed their names since my last video. So we have the Grinch and Rudolph and Smeezer over here. Um, we've got, uh, there was a couple other pink and cowardly. Uh, I remember seeing several others change their names to, uh, Oh, smelly Santa up here. Smelly Santa. Um, so, oh, and then, oh, just another rusher. That one's the same. Um, but it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun interacting with people. I have not taken any territory, and I am not there. I'm right here. I have not taken any territory thus far, but, and I'm going to post this video a little bit later than I'm recording it, that will soon change. So, um, I was informed by, uh, Peru down here that um, he and Bulgaria will go to war soon, and he believes that Chile will uh, join in the fight. Now, Chile is um, one of the two nations that just took out Greece um, in, honor of, in honor of Hastings, that song, um, as well as Belgium, right? And so a lot of his troops are weak, um, low morale. I wouldn't say weak. I'd say low morale. He's got a big stack here, and he's got a big, big stack here, um, but he is allied with Belgium. And so the reason that we think that he will join in on the fray is because he's got an ally, right? And so what we're going, what I'm going to do, I have right away with Belgium. It's Belgium, right? No, Bulgaria. Sorry, not, Bul uh, not Belgium, Bulgaria. He's allied with Bulgaria, but I have right away with Bulgaria. So I'm going to do something a little sneaky. I've got five calf that I'm just going to send to, you know, kind of play around in his back line. Maybe, maybe try to take his capital and reduce his morale, you know, give him a nice little gut punch. But I've got all of my troops back here, stationed back here, ready to go. Not all of them, a lot of them. Um, and so I've also got a fort here that is built. So it's going to be tough for him to, um, attack me, um, because he's got this long road that he's got to travel, and most of it's his. So I don't want to go up. I don't want to go up this way, but I can come up to the mouth of Tartarus and hit um, mouth of Tartarus Central from here. But I've got a fort here, so I should be in a good defensive position. So as of right now, and this may change by the time this video comes out, right? I may completely switch directions. So um, Forest Dog, when you see this. And if I have completely changed directions and not attacked you, understand that this was recorded at nine hours and three minutes left of day five. So this, this could change, right? But that's where we're at right now is I've been working with uh, a little bit with um, Peru. Um, we don't have like a solid alliance, um, but we have a two-day warning non-aggression pact. So I'm not going to attack him. He's not going to attack me without giving two days warning. And 
Um, so in 24 hours, I think that he has the same thing with um, Bulgaria. And in 24 hours, they're going to go to war and Chile is going to join in. But I've not talked to Chile at all. Uh, so I've had a little bit of cat and mouse with him. Um, but that's kind of where, uh, where it's at on that front. On the other front, I have considered um, fighting Aminster. Uh, fighting the Grinch. He did take this really early, and I don't think it gives him any extra resources. I think that was kind of foolish of him because it makes him, puts kind of a target on his back. He is in first place in that he has a victory point and he just needs one more, um, but he needs to, he would need to hold it for a period of time, right? Um, but I don't really want to, I've worked with him. I've given him right of way. I don't really want to fight him at this point. Um, because I don't want to have this victory point. Having a victory point puts a target on your back. And I don't want a target on my back. I've just kind of stayed chill. Um, I am next to some really, really good players. Um, and so I want to prevent myself from uh, becoming a target. All right? I want to be helpful. Um, I'm happy to pick a fight. But I don't want to pick a fight... Um, let me, let me, how do I put this nicely? I don't want to pick a fight that is even. I want to be in a fight where either they have bad morale, and so I'm going to be able to gain some territory. Um, I want to be in a fight where I have other people on my side, where there are distractions, right? Instead of being in a one-on-one, -on -one, I don't want a one-on-one. -on -one. I don't want a one-on-one -on -one that is even. Um, I want maybe a two-on-two, where I can get some sneaky grabs, right? Um, so that's why I'm looking at Chile over here. He's already um, taken on two other nations, and yes, he's got a lot of troop production, he's got a lot of resources, but a lot of those troops are low morale. And if I can sneak in and grab um, his capital here, um, and then all of these doubles, all of these doubles, they're unguarded. Um, if I can grab all of those doubles and just deplete him of resources and also deplete him of morale, like remove his bonuses, um, that's going to go a long ways and he's going to want to either charge me, which I'm okay with. I've got a decent stack here. Um, or he's going to want to bring all of his troops back to guard that, in which case I get his outer territories. Um, so that's kind of why I'm thinking about doing it that way. Um, but that's all that I have for now. Um, don't, don't worry. We will get some more uh, syrup. And, ooh, actually, I have plenty of, of uh, candy corn. So I turned my barracks off. I'm going to turn, actually, oh, look at that. I'm going to turn a barracks on here. And I'm going to turn a barracks on here. And that auto makes it so where I'm going to get more cavalry. And now I'm hurting for grain. But not too bad. Uh, so I am using up my candy corn. And I just got a message from Peru. So let's do it live. Okay. Not in the next 20 hours due to agreements. So yeah, he had the same agreement. Um, he is uh, making good on his agreements and that is uh, a positive. So that is my plan is I am going to move through, as you can see, in three and a half hours, I'm going to move through and I'm going to see, it might not be possible, but if I can take this, I might be able to take his capital because he's only got five units there and it's four infantry and one cav unit so if i can attack that and then i can just i can just ping pong and even if i lose five cav um that's a loss but it's five cavalry versus all of his morale so that's the plan thus far i'm going to enjoy this game um i hope that you're enjoying watching it again this is going to be posted a little bit later um because i don't want to give away um strategies troop movements etc um but that is all that i have for now uh, please give me comments. Um, let me know what you're thinking. If you want me to stop singing, then please, by all means, tell me. I am enjoying 
this holiday cheer though. Um, let me know your thoughts. Um, please give me feedback. That's all that I have for now. Soli Deo Gloria, and I'll see you next time.